Okay, we're going to try and look at this whole one third, um, the overall visible spread of a sample size. So we're going to we're going to use an excellence level explanation to decide whether we can make a call back in the population about whether Shaq and LeBron um, are different from each other, even though this is not a very good idea sample size. So we've shot. Sh um, Shaq has taken a whole bunch of um, shots and LeBron has taken a whole bunch of shots. 74, 62 is the sample size. And we're gonna look as if, it's, if there's a difference between their accuracy and so on. So, points per game, it's points per game. Now, um, what we do is we, we have to establish the overall spread. So we have to look at the lower quartile of this sample and these appear to be the same so we need to look at if in fact these are exactly the same because this is what the spread we're looking at it's the boxes so if we look at the upper quartile they're really close but this is 33 so this is a little bit further this is 33 and this one's 32.75 so they're almost on top of each other but not quite so the distance is 33 minus and then this lower quartile for LeBron is 21.25 so we need to get the overall visible spread for those two right so the overall visible spread is 11.75 that's it. that's basically from the 33 the upper quartile of Shaq to that. So that's the overall visible spread that we see. And it's it basically look at the boxes and you look at the distance from there basically to here and that overall visible spread. Okay. And then once we do that, we need to look at the distance between the two medians. So there's not a lot of distance between those two medians there and there so let's take a look at what those medians are so lebron's no shacks looks a little bit higher that's 29 29 minus and 27.5 27.5 so the distance between that we'll subtract so the distance between the medians is 1.5 now what are we going to do we've got to determine if a third the, if the distance make the claim to be bigger than a if the distance between the medians is greater than about one-third of the overall spread so is this one-third of the overall spread and how do you determine that so then we have to decide is this distance between the medians greater than a third of the overall spread so then we have to take basically and do the calculations of a third of 11.75 and a third of 11.75 is about 3.9 oops now is the distance between the medians greater than a third of the overall spread is it greater than 3.09 it's not it's not greater So that means we can't make a call that there's a difference. Makes a claim that one tends to be bigger than the other or that there's a difference back in the population if the distance between the meetings is greater than about a third of the overall spread. Well, this 1.5 is not greater than the overall, the third of the overall spread. We could have made that decision because we know there's so much overlap between these two boxes and the median, one median is inside the box of the other. So all those things point to that but if you want to do an excellence explanation, you've got to talk about the one-third.